In this video, we present a technique for modifying the lighting and reflectance of a live-action performance in post-production. By lighting the actor with a time-multiplexed series of lighting conditions at a high frame rate, we can simulate their appearance in novel illumination, or we can modify their reflectance functions to produce subtle or stylized modifications to their reflectance. Our illumination device includes 156 white LED light sources, which can be run in arbitrary patterns synchronized to a high-speed camera. The device also includes a matting background, allowing the subject to be photographed in silhouette to obtain a mat. The system rapidly illuminates the subject with a repeating set of patterns forming a basis for the sphere. Our camera requires up to 4,000 images per second, which can cover the full set of lights up to 24 times per second. In this work, we explored using three different lighting bases, single lights, triples of lights, and Hadamard patterns. Our paper discusses the various advantages and disadvantages we experienced with each basis. Here, we see a mosaic of a 180 image sequence that includes the triangle basis, captured every twelfth of a second. We can produce a full motion film of the subject with novel illumination by taking linear combinations of the basis images. This lighting can be captured from real locations or can be designed by a cinematographer. Unlike previous techniques, this allows the lighting to be designed and modified in post-production without creating a digital version of the actor. Since our subject moves during the basis, we need to align the frames using image warping. Failing to do this can produce image smearing, as seen in this non-motion compensated video. We detect and compensate for this motion using optical flow. Since performing optical flow between differently illuminated frames is difficult, we insert diffusely lit tracking frames at several times the target frame rate to improve the tracking results. To warp the images, we first compute optical flow between the tracking frames. We interpolate this flow to warp each basis frame to the nearest tracking frame toward the target output frame. Then, we apply a second warp to transform the frame all the way to the target output frame. The optical flow is robust enough that we can slow the repetition of the basis to half that of the original frame rate. We can then record shots that are twice as long and expose each frame with twice the illumination. Finally, we can use the flow to add an appropriate amount of motion blur to the output frames, in this case simulating a 180 degree shutter. We composite the actor into a background using the matte images that follow each tracking frame. We compare the actor's image sequence to a clean plate sequence, letting us derive accurate alpha values and remove stray light from the background. Hey, fais attention à la crevasse là-bas. Hey, fais attention à la crevasse là-bas. We can process the reflectance functions of the performance to produce either subtle or stylized changes to the actor's reflectance. From the lighting directions, we can estimate surface normals using photometric stereo, seen here as colored normal maps. The process also estimates the diffuse albedo of the performance, and an ambient occlusion map can be derived by analyzing the shadowing and the reflectance functions. Here we see the original performance composited into an environment using the basis lighting conditions. Using the albedo, normals, and ambient occlusion, we can render a diffuse version of the performance into a lighting environment. We can also render a specular version of the performance using the surface normals to perform reflection mapping. By interpolating between these renderings, we can make the actor's reflectance either more diffuse or more specular. For more stylized rendering effects, the same techniques can be used to render the performance with a uniform diffuse albedo, metallic specularity, or other shading effects. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. Hey, fais attention à la crevasse là-bas. 